Hi again, welcome back to another episode of my Sims 4 Let's Play playthrough type thing. Here we are again. Um, compared to last time, there's not much difference. Uh, let me just put the walls up here. Um, I think the main difference may be the brickwork. Uh, before I had that kind of half panel, half brick thing, and it was the black brick, similar colour to the bottom there. Well, um, that's changed a little bit. And I have just noticed, I never noticed this before. I've only just noticed this. Um, that's not supposed to be like that. Why it's like that, I'm not sure. Uh, I appear to have made a bit of a, a bit of a boo boo with my uh, design there. Hmm. I just noticed that because. I have added this, uh, the little barbecue area. The problem was, uh, because I was kind of going through redesigned stuff, I was making stuff a bit bigger and moving things. That's probably why that bit's sticking out there. Because I had to move these. Now, how do you make these round? This is the thing, I, 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 I guess I kind of need to... I don't know, maybe check it, a manual somewhere or something. I don't really have a manual because it was a digital download. So, uh, and I apologize for the jagged edges. To make the game run smoothly, I need to turn off the uh, the smooth edging. Anyway, um, because I basically moved this, um, and it seems to be going through the window somehow. <laughs> um, like I say, if I go into build mode and uh, attempt to move this in any way, uh, I can't get the, the the corner again. If you know what I mean. Um, it's it, this like when when it's originally down, like when it's originally placed and whatever. It creates a kind of a corner piece, if you know what I mean, a, a sort of rounded end. Uh, but because I would moved it, it doesn't seem to want to like do that. So I, I don't know how you do that. It's it's one of the oh 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 yeah yeah there we go. That's made it. Uh, more of a kind of you know adjoining thing, but I don't know how to get that rounded edge. Uh, it's not like it's not like you can sort of do it through uh, this. Modern uh, no results may vary. That's just some stupid joke thing. Uh, the Harbinger on corporate. Oh, it's a culinary career rewards. There doesn't appear to be any kind of information on how you can make these corners rounded. Um, I mean, I look through options, I look in help, and that will take me to an external website. And obviously, I don't want to do that while I'm playing. Uh, lessons. If we go into build modes, uh, build tools, da 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 da. Um, objects, kind of objects, rules, say to rotate. Rotate object, that basically just tells you to turn things around. It doesn't really tell you anything else. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure just how to do that there's no help at least like in this anyway you know it's uh, 
bit useless actually. So, oops, I've just grabbed I think the window. No, I don't want to go back into live mode, please. So anyway, like I say, because I moved that, uh, it kind of made it square again, and well, I didn't want that. So, without further ado, let me basically get back into the game. Uh, just a brief update, because as usual, I can't remember what I said or did in the last one. Now, you just saw the external update. Here's the, here's the ground floor design of my house, basically. Uh, there's the, the decking at the front there, you've got the, the big sort of hallway leading onto the living room there, you've got the uh, bathroom there. What I did is I finally managed, you know, sort of figured out, you know, how to move things. It cost a bit of money, obviously, but I've put the, the dining room next to the kitchen there. Uh, I'll put the island straight because that was another thing when I moved the islands it kind of had a, a rounded edge and because I moved it it got rid of that round edge can't get that back like, I, like I've just <laughs> explained so I kind of left it uh, I've put them in the middle there with a few stools so that when they come and have breakfast or something rather than you know if they don't want to take it through there they can just eat it there if they want to I mean there's usually like a, a plate of something around anyway. I think that, is that rubbish just there or? Probably. Um, but anyway, uh, well, before I unpause, because, well, it looks like Mary's a bit hungry there. So before we do that, what I wanted to do uh, oh my god, still haven't got used to this interface yet because of things being all over the place. I mean, I've been playing the game now for about, what, two weeks or a week or whatever. <laughs> and coming up to two weeks and I still haven't got used to it. Now, there is an Instaline potion. Uh, what I did, uh, because... Uh, Maya hasn't got enough reward points just yet. Didn't need to click that, did I? It's just there. 470. Uh, excuse me. Um, sorry, I had a bit of wind. Um, because she hasn't got enough points yet, uh, I bought it out of Flabadar's points because he's basically got loads. And I just put it on the table. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, get Maya to drink that. Here we go. It's not that she's got, like, you know, a, a big belly or anything. It's just, despite the amount that she exercises, similar to the way uh, Flabadar did, because Flabadar used to exercise like mad, and the muscle kind of seemed to add on to the uh, onto the fat and uh, I think it happened I'm not sure she's off to work so <laughs> I have to wait till she gets back from work and See if the potion had any effect. The thing is, it was I just given money. Oh, what happened there? I missed that. Uh, oh, now Maya's back. Uh, right. Uh, Maya, can you please go here? Because for some reason it's always lighter outside. Oh crap, now that's. No, no. Select my affairs, then go here. Right. Because for some reason, although it's outside, the light actually works. Uh, and there's like a light there, and uh, there are a couple of lights 
like on on the wall uh, either side. Uh, let me just quickly show just there. Uh, for some reason, these work better than lights inside. I mean, the fact that we've got that one there that was like three across there. Oops, we. <laughs> Uh, now that's the back door, I want the front door. Um, oh, sorry, my, my mouse is getting stuck on, <laughs> on stuff. Um, so there's a light right there, there's like a light there. You know, there's plenty of light, but for some reason, when it comes to lighting up the characters, it doesn't seem to work that well. Um, now what I will do uh, is, if I get her to change into a, her athletic uh, outfit and pause the game, oh, pause the game just as she's closed her eyes, it's like taking a picture with a camera isn't it? Really? You're just about to take the picture and whoop, the clouds are always. Okay, well, she seems to have slimmed a little bit. She's still got a bit of a belly. Her bum doesn't stick out so much. So, yeah, she was already pretty lean, I guess. I didn't realise just. How much, I suppose. Uh, she did seem not sort of podgy or anything, but just, I guess, slightly bigger. So, I mean, I did notice when she drank the potion, it didn't really make much difference. So, uh, so there we go. Um, so that's it. Uh, that is where I will leave it. Um, And well, I'll thank you for watching this sort of short update. Um, please like the video, uh, it gives me that bit of confidence knowing that people are watching these and I'm not just talking to myself. Uh, subscribe for more because, like I always say, I will be making more and hopefully be making them a bit more interesting. Uh, I didn't really have much planned for this one. It was kind of just a bit of an update and to have Maya drink that potion. So, uh, thanks for watching. Join me next time. And for now, bye.